Hi everyone, for thousands of years, dogs have been faithful companions to men. And nowadays, most of us simply can't imagine our life without them. Along with cats, dogs are the most common companion animals. Dog breeds are very different from one another as well. And there are a lot of them, several hundred actually. Everyday breeders worldwide work to create new and unusual breeds of dogs. Did you know that some breeds are more common than others and that there are certain breeds that are even considered rare? So make yourself comfortable because we're about to show you the 10 rarest dogs on the planet. Let's get it on. Merle Pitbull If suddenly someone stops you on the street and asks you which dog is considered the most dangerous, you will most likely answer without hesitation the Pitbull Terrier. Really, this dog doesn't have a good reputation because of its complex nature. Once upon a time, it was bred for dog fighting, which means it's more prone to aggression than other breeds of dogs. However, in the end conditions of strict discipline with regular training, pitbull puppies grew up to be loyal, reliable and friendly companions. For quite a long time in different countries of the world, breeding these dogs was prohibited, so they are quite rare. However, some pitbull terriers are considered rarer than others because of the difference in their color. Merle is a special very rare coat pattern in which the hair is colored unevenly. Simply put, it looks like the dog has been sprayed with dark paint to give it spots. Despite the fact that Merle pitbulls look incredibly impressive, the breeders are not in a hurry to spread them. Moreover, in certain professional circles, dogs with such a persona are even considered prohibited. The fact that the process of pigment formation in the dog begins begins at the embryo stage, at the same time when the nervous system is forming, Merle is in fact a genetic defect in the coat pattern that is at a certain stage of the embryos developed. If there was a failure, it affects the animal as a whole, so these dogs must always have nervous problems. Kettle Buran The unusual appearance of the dog that will now be discussed is obvious as soon as you see it. At first it seems that there is just something wrong with the dog. Then upon closer inspection, you will realize that the dog has two noses, instead of one. Don't worry though, Kettle Buran dogs are not victims of animal cruelty. They are just born this way. All animals of this breed have a split nose. Moreover, in some dogs this feature is more pronounced while in others it's not as noticeable. Another name for this breed is the Turkish Pointer. Another name for this breed is the Turkish Pointer, which means this is a hunting dog. It has strong hunting instincts, a keen sense of smell and boasts high trainability despite the fact that Turkish Pointers have a very distinct resemblance with other Pointers. The breed has not been recognized by the World Canine Organization, that's why there are very few breeders, so the breed is considered rare. Mexican Hairless Dog The real name of this dog you can see on the screen is Sholowitz Quintle. But if you're okay with it, we'll use another more simple name, the Mexican Hairless Dog or simply the Sholo. Apparently, this is one of the most ancient dog breeds in the world. According to some sources, it's also the rarest on Earth. Mexican hairless dogs were bred in the 5th or 3rd millennium BC, and it boasts an incredible history. The natives believe that the Sholo was the earthly representative of the Aztec god of storms and death, Xotl, hence the name. It was thought the dogs were supposed to accompany the souls of the dead to the afterlife. Despite its ancient history, the breed of dog, for reasons still unknown, is not widespread in the world. Bergamasco Shepherd When you look at a Bergamasco Shepherd dog, you might think that there is no dog in front of you, only a pile of wool. But now the dog is actually there somewhere. You just have to try and see it. The original home of these dogs is the province of Bergamo, Italy. As you might guess, the dog was named after the place where it was bred. The fact that these fluffy dogs were bred in a hot country may seem strange, but actually, Bergamasco shepherds tolerate hot weather surprisingly well. But they enjoy rain and low temperatures. Even better, they are really not afraid of any weather. This shepherd was bred in order to help people to tend sheep, so it's not accidental that the Bergamasco shepherd looks like a pile of entangled wool. A thick layer of wool not only helps the dog to adapt to all weather conditions, but also protects them from the teeth of wolves. The Bergamasco Shepherd is not a dog for living in a house though. They are usually bred today exclusively as herding dogs. That is why they are rarely bred. Tibetan Mastiff 
And here's another dog which is considered to be really ancient. It was first mentioned in documents from the late antiquity, somewhere between the 3rd and the 4th century BC. These huge fluffy dogs protected Tibetan monks and helped the nomads in the Himalayan mountains. It was thought that the Tibetan Mastiffs are ancestors of all shepherd and Mastiff dogs. However, there is no reason to believe this. Nowadays, the weight of the adult dog can reach to 60 to 80 kilograms and the standard heights of 60 to 70 centimeters. To take care of this giant, you need to have your own house with a spacious backyard. The thick coat doesn't let them tolerate hot and humid climates very easily, so not everyone can handle such a dog. Thai Ridgeback Interestingly, the most usual and rare dogs are also the most ancient. It's like people got too carried away with breeding dogs so they gradually began to forget where it all began. Studies show that the Thai Ridgeback is very similar to the Dingo, which means they are most likely pretty close relatives. By the way, scientists believe that today it's one of the most pristine and distinctive breeds. Scientists are still arguing about where this dog was bred. However, for quite a long time their distribution was limited to Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia and Indonesia. In ancient times, this area was highly isolated due to poor transport system. This whole situation led to the fact that the Thai Ridgeback was protected from crossing with other breeds. Despite the fact that the breed has ancient origins, it was registered by the World Canine Organization only in 1993. For this reason, its distribution was limited. Basinji The history of this breed starts in Central Africa, more than 5,000 years ago. Basinji dogs have many unique features, making them impossible to confuse with other dogs. First, they can't bark. For real, this dog can't bark, at least in the conventional sense of the word. Instead of barking, the Basinji makes characteristic Yoda-like sounds, but you can only hear them when the dog is excited. Second, when the dog puts his ears together, it has funny wrinkles on its forehead. Just like a human, and the last feature is that tightly curled tail. This may seem surprising, but Basinji dogs don't have the unpleasant odor that all other dogs have sometime after bathing. Often you can see this dog washing itself, like cats do, and the Basinji coat is considered to be the most hypoallergenic. It's worth mentioning that a litter of a Basinji is very small on average, only 4 to 5 puppies are born. Other dog breeds can give birth to up to 15 puppies at a time. Maybe this is the reason for their rarity. Azawak we have to warn you, if you see an Azawak dog, chances are you will feel the incredible need of feeding it. However, its abnormal thinness is not accidental. The fact is that this dog belongs to the family of sight hounds. They were bred in Mali, a country with a very hot climate, a large part of which is occupied by the Sahara Desert. So it's quite logical that dogs in this region had to have a special body constitution. This is how the Azawak dog appeared. They have no excess fatty tissues on their bodies. Muscles are dry and flat. The skin is thin with a large number of vessels. All these qualities coupled with long limbs and a short back allow the dog to develop high speed and also provide endurance. The Azawak is able to chase its prey for a long time even in extreme heat. Dogs of this breed are not too sociable either. They can't live in an apartment and they need regular physical activity. That is why you don't see them very often. Mainly professional breeders are interested in breeding. Louisiana Catahoula Leopard Dog there's almost no information on how this incredible breed appeared. Experts are still debating. Some believe it was bred when the dogs of the native Indians were crossed with red wolves, and dogs that were brought to the New World by the Spaniards. Others deny the presence of wolf's blood in the genes. Still others are sure that the Catalua leopard dog is a cross between a wolf and a French shepherd dog. In any case, the birthplace of this dog is North America. In 1979, the governments of Louisiana even declared it the official symbol of the state. Originally, this dog was bred for hunting fur-bearing animals and large animals such as elks, boars and bears. Today, they are often used as shepherd dogs. It's interesting that outside the US, this breed is almost impossible to find. There are some breeding nurseries just in a couple of European countries. Bedlington Terrier The home of the last dog on our list is the United Kingdom. It was first documented about 200 years ago, although back then the breed was known as the Rothbury Terrier. They were bred on the border of England and Scotland and mostly used for hunting. Closer to the 19th century, the popularity of the dogs increased 
that's when they acquired their familiar, refined and sophisticated appearance. Interestingly, at some point, breeders started to fight. Some have tried to keep the hunting qualities that breed. Others wanted to breed dogs with soft, flexible nature to enable them to be adopted as pets. We can't say who won this battle, but today the Bettington Terriers are one of the most expensive and rare dog breeds. They're especially popular among the aristocrats. When you look at this amazing dog with cropped curly hair, you can't really be surprised. And that is all we have for you today.